Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mr. Brown here, and welcome back to my playthrough of Final Fantasy VII Remake. In the previous episode, we finished up the Weapons on a Rampage side quest, and now we are going to move on to a Verified Hero side quest. So, it says the member of the members of the hideout have given Claude special permission to participate in an unknown game play along. So I would assume the only way to do that is to go to the hideout that we have access to and play their unknown game. If you guys are finding these side side quest episodes helpful, please let me know down in the description below. And if there, you guys have any suggestions on how to make them now better for you guys, so let me know. A bit, we can finally play whack a box again. It's all thanks to you. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's this tired looking guy out by the community center. And I heard he was looking for some help. Looks like we got our next side quest after this one. Let's go talk to this girl over here. Just like you. Oh hey Cloud, you're just in time for our favorite game, Whack-A-Box. You want in? It's super fun. The rules are easy. The person who whacks the most boxes is crowned champion of the hideout. We usually don't let adults play, but since you're cool, we're going to make a special exception just for you. Fantastic. So we get a Moogle medal for just doing it, and we get a Crescent Moon Charm for um, 20,000 points. And we get a special cogwheel, a spect wait, spiritual cogwheel for 30,000. As well as an elixir for 10,000, which isn't great for us. So we'll go ahead and start this. Seems it seems interesting. <laughs> Destroy as many boxes as possible within the time limit. Each box will add to your score. And once the timer reaches zero, the game is over. Reach the target score. Reach the target score to win. The durability effects and score difference. Score differs with each box of type. So I'm assuming the 1500 box is a lot stronger than the 50 and the 100, so it's easy enough. No holding back. Looks like we, we can use whatever we want with this Punisher mode. Damn, this box is super tough. Try this. There we go. Deadly dodge would be super helpful for this as well. I just still haven't had it equipped. So. Here we go. Basically, the score is just to hit as many of the boxes as possible. And then get the high score. All right. So it's not too difficult. And then there's these ones here that say give you 10 more seconds, which is good. Here we go. Like I said, with Deadly Dodge, this would be so much easier. To be able to get these points super quickly. So if you guys do have Deadly Dodge, I would put it on for this. For this side quest, at least. But I think I can do it without it. But to find out, I guess. As long as we keep. We're doing good so far. I do want to get that top prize 30,000. They don't make it too hard on you, it doesn't seem like. Alright. I think for these things, where they have the two, Punisher mode is probably the best in getting those taken care of. And it looks like we hit the 30,000 mark, so. Should be good to go if you get the top prize. Just a fun little side thing you can do, I guess. In the meantime, we about to destroy every box. So. Nothing too hard, I think it's just something fun to do. Get some decent rewards. Alright. 3400 Wow, Cloud! I've never seen anyone do that before! See? Pretty fun, 
right? Play with us again, okay? Ha. All right. So we just got a boatload of stuff, which is great. So, and that was the end of that side quest. So if you guys did enjoy this episode of the side questing here, please be sure to let me know down below. If you guys have any suggestions on how to make these videos better or quicker or more informative, please just let me know down below. I will try my best with the next set of side quests coming up to make that better for you guys. Um, yeah, in the next episode, we will continue with the last two side quests. So thank you guys so much for watching and peace out.